the is a planetary science uh, archive, so I'm going to give you an introduction. I'm going to address the following. What is the PSA? How to access the data? How to get support from the PSA? How you provide your recommendations to the PSA? And uh, I'm going to touch on the, the future PSA user interfaces, initial concepts and requirements, and the current developments. And I'll mention at the end uh, the PSA presence in the open session uh, tomorrow. So what is the PSA? The PSA is the Planetary Science Archive. Uh, it's the, the central repository for all scientific and engineering data written by uh, ESA's uh, solar system missions. Uh, can, I, can, I, can I check who has uh, used the PSA in the past or tried to have, have, have has an account on the PSA? Okay. So for those who haven't, this is the URL. And uh, tomorrow in the, in the track B tool survey, you're also invited to uh, participate in the, in the demo. And if you want to set up an account and have a look at the PSA, you, you can do that for, for those who haven't uh, an account on the PSA. Uh, so this is, this is the URL for the website. Uh, so as I said, we archive all the, 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 the data from all the, the, the planetary science missions starting from Giotto, Huygens, Smart One mission for the Moon, Venus Express, Mars Express, Rosetta, uh, in the future, Baby Colombo, ExoMars 16, 18, the rover mission, and JUICE. All our data, they are uh, NASA's, uh, they are compliant to the NASA planetary uh, data system, which is a key to guarantee the usability and uh, long-term preservation of our data. So how to access the data with the current interface? Uh, you have basically two ways of doing this. We have, we give access to the data through uh, an FTP server, and you can browse this FTP server from the website. And we have also um, a web, um, Java, sorry, a Java-based uh, interface, as well as an, what we call advanced search interface which is coupled with a map-based search interface. So you see here a snapshot of, of the two. And we also provide access to our data through the uh, PDAP protocol, which is the, the planetary data access protocol for interoperability. And we're gonna have more uh, talks about that uh, during the, the workshop. Again, if you want to access the data through the FTP, the FTP server, you just go to the, to the website and you will find the way to launch both the, 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 the Java-based interface and, and the FTP. Uh, getting support from the PSA, uh, you have three, kind of three ways doing that. You can first look at the documentation, the, the tutorials, cookbooks that exist are on the, on the website. Uh, I put the URL here. And, um, you have, uh, we are running a help desk through uh, an email address, so you can contact us directly at that uh, email, or through the PSA uh, website directly for any questions related to uh, the data itself, and it includes spice and salary data, the PSA user interfaces, the tools and utilities uh, related to the PSA and PDS, like uh, readers uh, for PDS data, or if you have any issues with the PSA uh, website, you can contact us. And uh, as it was mentioned before, we are also running workshops when we have the opportunity. And uh, you can also go to the website and look at all the previous workshops and all the material that is uh, attached to, to that workshop. You can browse all this content also. It's, uh, this is a nice way to uh, get your way around uh, PSA and PDS. Uh, how do you provide uh, feedback to the PSA? This was also addressed uh, already a little bit this morning with Angelo and the user group. This is the user group. Uh, the PSA user group uh, is, is, the, is your link to the PSA as well as to uh, the science lead. So the science lead is uh, the face of the PSA. Uh, generally, we attend uh, most of the scientific conference, uh, whether it's uh, in Europe or in the US, we try to uh, to, to stay in touch with, uh, with the community through, uh, through this, these channels. <coughs> well, again, this is, the, uh, this is the PSA user group that you, that you see here. You have Angelo and Batiste that are here. 
The other three are not here, uh, but you're, you're free to contact them. But each of them represent a, a kind of a, a discipline uh, node, I would say. Uh, so depending of uh, your main interest, you can contact directly those person. You go on the website, on the PSA website, and you will find their, their email address. So the PSA is changing, and uh, why is it changing? Is it, it's changing because we want to improve the usability of the PSA through uh, modern web-based user interfaces. Uh, we need to adapt to the evolution of the PDS standards. Uh, we are now moving to PDS4, and the ExoMars 16 and the Colombo mission, they're gonna, they are adopting this new standard. And so we need to uh, re redesign the, the PSA whether it's the back end or the front end. Uh, we want also to integrate or better integrate with Open Geospatial Analysis tool and process. I'll come um, back to that later. And uh, what we want is to enable the development of added value services from the community. And I will explain also how we want to, to achieve that. <clears throat> so uh, here are a few uh, key concepts and, fe and feature for for the next uh, PSA interfaces. Uh, we want an intuitive uh, navigation and we came up with this concept that is quite familiar if you're used to browse the internet and um, it's called faceted based search mechanism. If you go and use, uh, let's say for example, Amazon or your order book, uh, any, of, uh, any kind of uh, data store, they provide this kind of drilling mechanism where you can uh, start the search and then and refine your search. So that, that's something that we, we would like to, uh, to implement in the future. We also want to improve the user interface. We want to have a Google type search which would be like kind of auto suggest text based search to get a uh, new user uh, easily started with using the interface. Um, in Mars, for example, and you already have a pre-selection of uh, results that uh, might be of interest for people, and then you can refine your search. Um, <coughs> but the main focus is gonna be on the map interface. So I'm gonna show you a, a mock-up of, of this new interface uh, in a minute. Uh, this uh, new interface will include added value services as much as we can. Uh, interoperability is also key. Uh, we want to be able to search and retrieve data from external data holdings, supporting PDAP, EP and TAP. Um, we want also to give the, uh, the possibility of exporting data to other tools uh, through uh, protocols like SAMP uh, or to commonly used formats for data usability and data access. So how the user interface and web services will fit into a, a, a typical uh, GIS user workflow so this is a diagram that illustrates uh, how a typical GIS user would work. So it does its analysis with, please remind me of the time uh, because I. You're two minutes, please. All right. <laughs> uh, so here you have the user does its analysis with GIS software that is gonna be uh, uh, presented tomorrow in the hands on RGIS, quantum GIS. Those software, they, co they connect to OGC web services. So you can connect to external planetary, existing planetary OGC web services, and the PSA will also implement and serve these this protocols. So you will be able to access the data from the PSA through uh, directly from uh, GIS software. Uh, the, the PSA uh, uh, web a uh, map user interface will allow you to export data in, uh, in JS ready format and import data in the interface. From the uh, interface itself, the web interface, you will be able to, you will be able to also connect to external um, OGC web services. This is a mock-up of how the interface will look like. Two minutes. <laughs> it's fast. Uh, on the, on the left side, you see the, the faceted search uh, filter panel that I just mentioned. Uh, there will be work in terms of uh, doing some classifications and facilitating uh, uh, the uh, drilling of the content for, for a user. Uh, the 
I don't know, in one minute, I don't know what, what else I, I, I can say. It, what, what I suggest is that uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, during the um, tool survey track, we would like to discuss those ideas with you. So I, I could go and, and run through this interface, but that, that's basically typical. If you're used to a uh, web-based map interface, that kind of, uh, this is the look like you would get from, from uh, rich modern web interfaces using uh, modern open source JavaScript, uh, leaflet kind of thing, uh, framework. Uh, this is a view, uh, this is uh, what we call the map view, this is a table view. What we intend to do is that to implement different types of view, we would have a, um, a grid view or image browser view. Uh, by the way, this is uh, something that has been <coughs> implemented in the last month. Uh, to serve uh, images uh, from um, NAFCAM and uh, Osir Osiris as well, I guess. Uh, if you want to access this, uh, you have the URL here, uh, imagearchives.isa.int. Uh, enabling developers to provide added value services. Uh, we do that uh, with as many protocols that are used within the community. So. Uh, PDAPs that uh, I've already mentioned, the Your, Your Planet Table Access Protocol, EPNTAP, and, uh, and the OGC uh, standard protocols, WFS first and WMS. Uh, we've started the development of the new PSA, and uh, we've implemented WFS. So we're, uh, all the metadata are uh, available uh, through uh, this uh, WFS protocol. Uh, with the following layers. So if you're, this is kind of technical, but if you're a bit familiar with PDS4, uh, <coughs> there is the concept of uh, bundle, which is equivalent to data set collection products. Those are gonna be layers of this WFS protocol. Um, quickly to mention the, our involvement and commitment to the IPDA uh, and international co uh, cooperation. Uh, archiving experts from uh, major countries involved in, in planetary exploration formed this uh, in International Planetary Data Alliance. And one of the main objectives of this group is to develop recommendations to, to standardize planetary data <coughs> archiving globally. And um, we're gonna have a, a presentation on the uh, IPDA uh, later during the workshop on the, on the third day by uh, Dan. So I, I skip through that. And go to the last slide, uh, which is about presentation at the, the the PSA at the open session. Again, I didn't have much time to go th to run through the the, the, the concept for the, the the new interface. But if you've never used the PSA and you want to get an overview of the existing PSA, please uh, go to track B, and you will get a, a demo from uh, archive scientist from. Uh, uh, Rosetta and uh, Mars Express, Venus Express, if you're interested also in this type of data, you can ask uh, uh, questions related to that. If you're interested in the future PSA, you want to discuss ideas and concepts, uh, also feel free to, 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 to join the track. Uh, also, uh, this is kind of a call for beta testers. In, uh, in the course of the next year, we will want to uh, have uh, interested uh, users to test our first uh, beta version of the new PSA. Uh, I, I quickly mentioned the WFS implementation of the PSA. Uh, we have an abstract on that, and uh, Isa Barbarisi is gonna cover this in, uh, in the track C in the uh, data forum. So if you're interested in the, in the current the development and uh, current implementation of our work and how the WFS will, uh, will work, please join the, the track C. Okay, thank you for um, your... Thank you.